Hi, this is Cliff Reader, and I'm going to teach you guys how to use code replacement in Photo Mechanic. Um, code replacement is just a little uh, tool in, as part of Photo Mechanic that lets you uh, basically make uh, tagging sports pictures much, much easier. Um, in order to do this, what you need is some text files that just convert a little shorthand code to somebody's full name. Um, we have these uh, we have these code replacements already in place for football, uh, basketball, and hockey so far this year. Um, to see what is on the uh, computers, basically you just go to Edit Settings and then Set Code Replacements. Um, on all the uh, on all the iMacs, we already have this for like I said, football, basketball, hockey. Um, so you can see where these are located. And it's a good idea to kind of look at the text files to see what you're working with and what the codes are like. Um, so this is the one for football. As you can see, the format is basically just put M and then the player's number. Um, and then you might have to put like a D or an O. And this uh, this just relates to if they're on offense or defense. This is because football, uh, they'll assign multi the same number to people um, on different teams. Um, in other sports, uh, so like this is basketball I've got over here. Since numbers are only used once, uh, we just have a different prefix. We do like MB and then the player's number. Um, so just to show you how this works, I'm going to tag a couple photos for you guys. Um, so we look at this, this is Carlos Brown running the ball. I just look at, you can see, by the way, I've already uh, filled out my caption here, so all I really got to do is go through and do, do the names. So I see this is number 23, so I just go slash, that's how all the code replacements start. Uh, I just go slash M23, because that's his number, and obviously Carlos is carrying the ball, so I know he's on offense, and then I close the slash, and it just fills in his name. Easy as that. Um, go to the next one. I see Tate Forcier, he can't, Tate Forcier, can't quite see his number, but I know he's number five, so just go slash M5, and then O, because as the quarterback, he's on offense, just fills in his name like that. Um, again, here we see uh, Brandon Graham making a tackle. So, uh, obviously, he's on the defense then. So I go M55D, close the slash, but it doesn't work. Uh, what that means is that uh, there's probably only one player that has the 55, so I don't need to indicate that he's on the defense. So I just delete this D, and then it knows who I'm talking about. It fills it in. Uh, Denard Robinson, same kind of thing. Just go slash M16 for his number, and then O, he's on offense. Close it off. Again, doesn't appear. Close it. And then uh, it works. Now, like I said, we also have these for basketballs, uh, for basketball and hockey. But the format for these is a little different because there's no repeated numbers. Uh, what we've done is just the uh, prefix for basketball is MB and then the number. Uh, but if you do the M, it puts Michigan uh, in front of the player's name. And if you just do B and then the number, it's just the player's name and position. Uh, this is useful if there's multiple people in the photo. You know, you tag the first one with. Uh, MB, so it'll say Michigan guard, Zach Novak, and then also forward Anthony Wright are in the picture. Uh, so this for his last example, I'll open up this, see Manny is number three, so I just go slash, uh, and, but I already have Michigan in this caption, so I just do slash B3, close it off, and then it fills it in. Easy as that. Um, if you don't have these code replacements or the uh, change from year to year, uh, you need to make new ones. Uh, I've included information on how to do that. Just ask your editors. Uh, hope this was helpful.